So we are going to integrate x plus 4 over x squared plus 2x plus 5. And we should always try to factor the denominator. In this case, we can't. Even worse, this quadratic expression has no real value solution. So in such a situation, we have to complete the square for the denominator. And let's get to work. And let me just put down x squared plus 2x, leave some gap, and then plus 5. And to complete the square, we have to first make sure that the number in front of x squared is 1, which we do have that, so that's good. And the number in front of the x, uh, that's the b value, and here we have b is equal to 2. And then I'm going to worry about what number I have to add. And there's a formula for that. We have to add a number which is going to be b over 2 squared. Okay? And then we already talked about b is equal to 2. So this is going to be 2 over 2, you square that. And of course, 2 over 2 is 1, 1 squared, which is 1. So that means I have to add 1 right here. But if I just add 1, then that will just like ruin the expression and change the whole value, right? But it's not that bad because I can just immediately subtract 1. So you see, plus 1, minus 1, it's adding 0. Doesn't matter. And if you look at this part, this is going to be always factorable, and it's going to be something squared, and it's going to be x plus 1 to the second power in this situation. And then plus 5 minus 1 is plus 4. Okay? And then if you imagine, if you set this equal to 0, you have to subtract 4 on both sides, you get imaginary number solution. That's why this right here has no real value. And then you have to complete a square for that. But anyway, this is the algebra. And then now let's focus on the calculus. Let's come back to here. So right here, we are talking about the integral x plus 4 over the denominator is just that. I'm going to put this down. x plus 1 squared plus 4. dx on the side. And what can we do next? u substitutions. I'm going to let u equals to my inside function, which is this, which is the x plus 1. And that's equal to what we get. u is equal to x plus 1. That will give us du equals to dx. So pretty good. We don't need to divide anything. We don't need to multiply anything. And this is going to be u squared plus 4 on the denominator. That's good. But on the top, I have the x, right? If you see, u is equal to x plus 1. That means x will be u minus 1. So I can take this integral into my u world. And let me just put it down right here, diagonally. <laughs> integral. And if you plug in u plus 1 for x, we have u, I mean u minus 1 for x, u minus 1 right here, u minus 1 plus 4, we get u plus 3 on the top. Over, this is u squared, and plus 4. And we have dx, which is the same as du. That's very nice. And now this is the integral in the u world. And because of two things on the top, let's split the fraction to see what we can do with that. So this is the same as integrating u over u squared plus 4 plus 3 right here over u squared plus 4 du. The first one can be done by u substitutions again. So you can call that a w substitution or the substitution in your head. Let me just tell you the answer though. This is going to be 1 half ln parentheses, u squared plus 4, okay? And then for the second one, this is how we are going to do it. I'm going to factor out, let me put on the three first. And I'm going to look at this as 1 over u squared plus 2 squared. The 4 is 2 squared. And then if you have the integral in the form of 1 over u squared plus 2 squared, dx, d, du, right here technically is du, we can use a formula. This is going to be 1 over 2 r tangent u over 2. Okay? You have to use the formula and then you can check out my other video if you would like to see what the formula is. But anyways, this is going to be 1 half, so multiply by 1 half, inverse tangent u over a, the a value, which is 2 right here. And that's it. Okay, let me erase that. And perhaps I can take this u world, right, this integral, like this expression, back to the x world. Let's do it. And here we are going to have 1 half ln parentheses u is equal to x plus 1. So we have 
x plus 1, and you square that, and then you plus 4 to that. And we have plus 3 over 2, our tangent. u is x plus 1, so we have x plus 1 over 2. In the answer in the back of the book, okay, the answer in the back of the book, they decide to multiply this out. x squared plus 1 plus 4. But what's that? That is the same as the original. So the final answer, the answer in the back of the book, is equal to 1 half ln. This right here is just the original, which is x squared plus 2x plus 5. And this is never negative, so you can just use parentheses. And then we have that part. So we have plus 3 half inverse tangent um, x plus 1 over 2. And of course, we're done, so we put plus c and then box the answer. And this is it.